My name is Bob Bird, and uh, I came up with the idea for the mural Find Your Match. The idea came to me as soon as I saw the choices. There was a lot of choices to apply for. I saw that it already the form related to some earlier work I had been working on. It's a grid structure, and I had a very important painter at UNT for a semester, Vincent Falsetta, who was a grid painter. And when he said grid painter, I thought he meant like checkerboard grid painting. And what he did and what he was doing was very impressive. And somehow it influenced my work, whether I wanted it to or not. And uh, I got into using real thick vertical horizontal brush strokes with bits and bits in color, building upon building upon building till a texture developed and just kept pushing it till a certain aesthetic happened. So this grid of this concrete form, I guess, spoke to me and to use some sort of strange art term, but it just made sense to rely on gray as a neutral binding value and then have bits and pieces of color to create hopefully an aesthetic response. I saw the volume or the number of, of squares. Turns out there's, I believe, 109 if I counted correctly. And for some reason that seemed like, not some magical number, but it seemed like enough that it would be a challenge to take the primary and secondary colors and mix different variations of two equal colors. And I thought initially that it would be like somebody trying to find their soulmate. And, um, as deep as that sounds, I also realized, well, with all these colors, it's very much like a game. And um, I think it'll hopefully be challenging enough that if somebody wanted to go through and try to find every single pair, I estimate it would take maybe 15 minutes for somebody that's quick. Art is part of culture like any of the other aspects of culture, music, dance, philosophy, religion, cooking, education. There's a lot of aspects to the human condition that are a positive part of what human beings are. When you get into things that are falling apart, you can simply fix them and clean them up. When you bring art in, it makes it have sort of a magical appeal. I mean, that's kind of like what, what sells Disney is this magic. And art creates the illusion of something being more than it is. Uh, something as simple as a mural can transform a old decrepit side, you know, brick building and turn it into something worth looking at and could actually hopefully make you feel better about being where you're at. So I'm going to be going to the Hearts for the Arts. I plan to have a lot of fun. Uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting people. Interesting in the truest sense of the word that they will be very different from your normal run-of-the-mill people you run into on the street. There's also going to be some fantastic artwork that is being donated to be auctioned off, ranging from small, simple pieces that are potentially investments to already established pieces with some heavy hitting power in the art world. It's worth going. It's going to be a blast.